This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performances do not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk. There is always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. Good Monday afternoon traders and welcome back from a long holiday weekend. I'm Scott Norris with your Forex Report. Today is November 27, 2006. Well, after a very rocky start at this week's open, the dollar was able to hold its ground during European and U.S. trading today. Now just coming back from a long holiday weekend, it is likely that U.S. traders are digesting what happened last week. We had no U.S. data on the calendar this morning, which also contributed to the lack of movement. However, the rest of this week's calendar is busy, starting with durable goods orders, consumer confidence, and existing home sales tomorrow. Traders are blaming the most recent downturn in the dollar on economic weakness rather than interest rate expectations, which puts home sales in the spotlight. A further slowdown in the housing market will continue to weigh on consumer spending, which accounts for two-thirds of U.S. GDP. A sharp decline in tomorrow's October reading could be the catalyst of the dollar's next leg lower. In the meantime, we could see traders slowly build short dollar positions ahead of tomorrow's releases as the sentiment remains very bearish. The overnight bounce in the dollar was slow and controlled, which typically signals that the underlying trend will resume. We feel as though further dollar weakness is in the cards this week, and it may be just a matter of timing it. Tonight's calendar consists of some important Japanese data, which may allow the yen to continue gaining against the dollar after losing ground today. Large retailer sales and retail trade figures for October are due early this evening. With retail sales expected to decline by five tenths of a percent, traders could move the yen higher against all currencies on an unexpected increase. The European session could be on the quiet side again tomorrow morning with very little data due ahead of multiple U.S. releases. Until then, have a wonderful night trading. Take care.